Hello guys, welcome to Tutorial Talks 4 with Third Floors. Okay, so um, I'll be showing you the effect you just saw in the beginning, and uh, yeah, it's quite cool compass thingy. You can make some uh, heads up displays with it, and yeah, I recently figured this out. Um, I watched uh, a few tutorials on heads up displays because I'm doing quite a big project, and I kind of combined together a few stuff. So, okay, let's begin. Uh, make a new composition. 720 by 720, name whatever you want. Uh, make it about 10 seconds. Um, yeah. So, why is it blank? Fuck me. Okay, whatever. Go to your ellipse, ellipse tool double click it and you'll have this first thing you want to do is go to, down to content ellipse oop, and uncheck the eye for fill so you will just have to stroke you can't see it right now but I'll just add a background comp size okay like that so you only have to stroke so press S on the shape layer and oop, make it 90% now duplicate it twice and make the shape layer 2 scale 80 and make the third scale 85 now I want to go to the third one and open it up go to content ellipse and go to where is it stroke Stroke width, make it around 29. So, like that. You can play around a little bit, but as you can see, it's it's close between the other two lines. So, yeah, you want to check that out or make these skills bigger. That's totally up to you. Then press the dashes twice, the, the plus on the dashes, sorry. So, you got this pattern. And you can play around with the dash and gaps, like this. You can make it um, complex or just simplistic with a few areas. I like to keep them like around this. Maybe close the gaps up a little like that. And there you go. You have this nice uh, outside ring. We'll keep going in uh, with it. So I got this preset. I'll link you to the tutorial video. Video. Data. It's a star glow plugin from Trap Code. And what am I doing? Combine these layers. Pre-compose them. Rings. And just put that preset on it. And delete the 3D stroke. So you get the nice glow, glowy thing. You can totally change it up like you want. You can adjust the glow. You can adjust the colors, like right here. So let's make it green or blue, wherever. And yeah, I'm just doing this really quick because I want to keep it short for you guys. So there you go. You have a green, bluish ring. And maybe you could. Uh, Lower up the opacity so you can see the part uh, segments a little bit better. I haven't thought of that yet. What does this do? Hmm, this doesn't change. Oh, wait. There we go. There we go. So start low opacity and just drag it down to around 70. 70. And then you want to press select your rings uh, layer. Press R. You go to the beginning of your clip. Keyframe it at a zero, go to the end, and keyframe it to eight. Not sure why it does this though. So you'll have the nice spinning uh, effect. Wait, let me try something. Doesn't. Not sure why this doesn't work though. No, 
no. I dragged some layer really bad. Sorry, guys. There we go. My bad. So you can see the color changes. It spins. It does kind of whatever you want. And now, how to make it a compass. Make a new layer, solid. Uh, make it white. Size is alright. Just make it the comp size. Grab your pencil and just make yourself a compass. I'll do it really quick. You guys should put some time into it. There we go. Now, um, what I like to do is maybe I'll make it smaller first. Like that. And go to press M for masks, duplicate your mask, and put the blending mode to subtract. Now you think, what the fuck is that? Then you click the arrow down, you go to mask expansion and drag it negative. You'll see what happens. Like that. I really like that. And maybe play around with the feather. No, that's not, that's not good. Okay, so that's fine. Now drag it to the middle of your circle. Like there. Then you want to grab this tool over here next to the camera tool. It's the pen behind tool, or just press the Y. And you want to drag this point. Oh, what have I done? You want to drag that point to the point where you want to turn your compass. So you want to turn it from that point. Make it a 3D layer. Press P for position. Mm, no, that's not true. Uh, rotation? Yeah, R for rotation, sorry. <laughs> Press Alt on Z rotation and type this wiggle uh, open 0 0.4, comma, uh, 300 and close it up. Now, what this does, it randomizes your movement from the compass as you can see over here the first number is how many times per second and the second number is the ratio where it turns in so as you can see you have quite a nice effect there and um, don't worry about the size if you want to make it into a composition with 1280 by 720 just scale it up or scale it down that's up to you but yeah, um, perhaps add some glow to the compass itself. Glow, 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 glow. Okay, there we go. And uh, yeah, that's totally up to you what you want to do with it. I'll just make it the blue, bluish color, I guess. Mm, A and B colors. There we go. Okay, and perhaps you could add a fill to it. Or you could just add the same effect as I as we added to the outer ring, I guess. But yeah, be creative with it, guys. Don't just do the same as I do. As I told you, I saw two tutorials and I combined them as well. So you should do the same. Just style to your own likings. So yeah, here we go. There's a nice little spinning HUD. As you can see, when you delete the background, it's transparent, so you can add it onto a onto a background and not see any of the hardish black background. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this, and we'll see you later. Bye.